all right back again finally it's been a while figured i'd upload something i do have a fragrance with me try not to travel with a bottle but i'll go over that happy new year happy new year to everyone weather is horrible right now in new york let's see let's get a look around all right so you can see some snow there and at this point it's kind of like hail all right now let me set this back up Right. And so, yeah, I don't travel with bottles, but I do bring this with me. All right. This North Face book bag with me, it carries a lot of stuff. You never know if I ever get stranded. All right, you gotta have that. I got my Swiss Army knife here. This thing is like 20 years old. My father used to smoke and he used to collect the, the, the miles, the UPCs on it. And we got that. So that thing holds some sentimental value to me. Uh, got a lint brush. You never know when you gotta remove some lint, some potassium, right? I got some screwdrivers and stuff like that. But I also have this, and I think I've spoke about this before. And I don't like to travel with bottles because uh, I've noticed any any time I've traveled with certain bottles, especially when I go like uh, on higher grounds, the altitude sometimes causes the bottle to leak and not necessarily from the the crimp area but from the sprayer every time you spray underneath that little piece it, it leaks out a little bit and it's happened to me with two bottles i did nuit the faux review where i brought it upstate to me uh to pennsylvania and that bottle started leaking on me and then i traveled with ombre leather one time and that one also started leaking on me the same way so i i tried to travel only with travel sprays would have thought all right and the one that i do want to talk about there was one fragrance here but i actually gave it to somebody because it was just a little too feminine for me i forgot the name of it now this is black saffron this is basically a more tame tuscan leather very nice actually i think uh, a lot of people like this one the other one i do want to talk about is super cedar as you can see, that's the one I wear the most. And Super Cedar, boy, it is really, really nice. Uh, almost minimalistic, simple, yet done very, very well. I would put this in the realm of like, like Lilabo and Byredo, I put into the same category. They're that same kind of brand, that, that, that hype beast brand, right? Collaboration, stuff like that just minimalistic fresh clean although byredo is making some interesting fragrances i think in the uh extra the parfum line but uh, this one is really nice like I said, i've said it before it's like in another 13 but there's definitely more going on here just huge huge dose of iso e super i would say most of this fragrance is probably iso e super but then the interesting part here is the rose and the rose is dosed very very well here still masculine i would say very plump rose i wouldn't necessarily yeah maybe a little bit fruity but also watery at the same time not very green though but very very nice and then the other thing that makes this really interesting in my opinion is the vetiver you get that dry smoky vetiver here just it gives this fragrance some something different something else to think about other than that iso e super that right uh what else definitely musky so a lot of labo fragrances are musky and woody right and that does it here and i think there's gotta be gotta be ambroxan in here because i'm also getting that that nail polish remover vibe that you get from another 13 in here is really enjoyable very it's strong but it's still light like a lot of lilabo fragrances although you can smell them and they project and they last they don't assault your nostrils right and i really like that this kind of appears disappears at times and that and that's probably due to the high dose of iso e super iso e super does that sometimes you can go anosmic to it but in this case 
it's just a very enjoyable wear the rose cedar and vetiver vibe here and some saffron i definitely get some saffron uh in here as well this kind of works like in the realm of baccarat rouge but Baccarat Rouge also smells like another 13. So it's all in the same category. If you like Baccarat Rouge, if you like another 13, I think you would really enjoy this. Just really, really nice. But if you, this is on the, on as far as projection, it is a little bit lighter. I will admit that, but I don't have trouble smelling it. So it's definitely something that has to be discovered rather than announced, but I prefer my fragrances that way. Either way, Super Cedar, very nice. I would, I don't know if I would get a full bottle. I think, you know, we'll see once this runs out, but I do really like this one. I would say it's probably one of my favorite Byredos, although Black Saffron is good, but I, I would prefer Tuscan Leather. I have a bottle of that too, but. And I think there was another one that was kind of, for, I think it was Elevator Music. It's also in that another 13 minimalistic uh, realm gypsy water is a very nice kind of green i think it's like a green watery scent almost maybe some incense i'm not sure but either way uh hello to everyone hope everyone is doing well and uh just wanted to say hello thank you take care